level 110, one Derek Newbury. Sapo 900, just throw me off. Hi there. Um, it's a shame that uh, Macklin uh, went bust. Um, not because their prices were the uh, best that you could find, because they certainly weren't often. They were amongst the worst prices uh, you could find. Um, but for someone like me, who's always in a bit of a hurry, so you know, when I decide to build something or repair something uh, or whatever, uh, I need a connector. Uh, I need cable, whatever. Um, it was good to be able to get in the car, drive there and buy what you need and get it that day rather than order it on the internet uh, and then wait a few days <coughs> or from eBay. Um, so I used to go in there so often, I spent so much money in there that often I, well, I was there almost every week messing about buying something or other. Uh, and in doing so, I got to know one of the guys in there pretty well and um, he followed me on my YouTube channel. He, you know, he was... I would, he wasn't exactly a friend, but um, you know, I did get to know him pretty well, and we always had a sort of chat in there. But that's pro probably why Maplin went bust, is because people would go in there and have and chat about things technical, uh, rather than go in there and buy a whole load of stuff. You know, you could go in there and spend half an hour in there and come out with five quid's worth of connectors. So it's sort of no wonder really they weren't making enough money, and it is a shame. Um, I happened to be in a shop nearby uh, the Oxford branch uh, the day that the Oxford branch was closing down so I popped in there and saw my friend and he basically said you know if the shop's not empty it's got to be empty by tomorrow if it's not empty we're going to be giving stuff away so uh, I ended up walking out of there with a lot of free stuff a lot of, I mean I don't need to buy any batteries for a long time put it that way um, but one of the things that uh, I did also get for free um, was this Moonraker uh, mobile uh, antenna. Uh, it's uh, broadband, 25 megahertz, 2 gigahertz. It's got a magnetic mount that isn't going to work on my car because my car's made of fiberglass. Um, but 4 meters of coax, which is uh, quite generous uh, to a BNC connector. Um, and there you can see it. The, uh, the reason there are bars on the window isn't because I'm in prison, it's the building. Of my f building here it used to be a warehouse for a company that distributed mobile phones so you can, so they had bars on the windows um, so yeah four radiators uh, as you can see uh, it's pretty compact but uh, I dug it out it's not that I forgot I had this antenna I sort of forgot um, it's that um, obviously I've done quite a lot of HF testing on the RSP duo superb SDR which will be coming to Brazil with me um, but I've not done anything on VHF or UHF uh, and so here's the antenna to make that happen um, so the fact that I got it for free makes it even better uh, not that I'm a cheapskate necessarily um, you know I don't mind spending a bit of money on something uh, that I want or something that I need or something good um, but it was quite nice to get it for free um, and so right now I am tuned to 134.125 megahertz, which is the Western approach uh, for Heathrow Airport. Uh, the signal is from Oakham. Uh, um, and you might have heard that if I'm lucky, they'll transmit now. But basically that was the signal that you briefly heard when I started this video. So, uh, and that's with this little antenna just in the window. So um, I'm gonna, do a bit of um, have a bit of an explore on VHF and UHF, something that I don't do very often. Um, with and, and use that my free antenna from Maplin. So uh, yeah, something good came out of it uh, in the end. Um, yeah, it is a shame that they're not there still, but you know it's all a matter of economics. Like, as I said, you know you go in there and you spend five or ten quid and you spend like three quarters of an hour in there you know it was never, never going to happen the right now I think was on the wall um, so uh, it is a shame and so now I'm buying everything off eBay um, but you yeah, know that's life so there you go uh, let's see what I can uh, what I can hear with the uh, SDR Play RSP Duo uh, and this 
free Moonraker 25 megahertz to 2 gigahertz uh, little antenna there. Okay, well, thanks for watching.